What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video today. We're checking out the Lotus Amira. We're going to do a stage 5 shift and tune. We're going to do a stage 6 shift and tune where the car is maxed out. Um, we'll do a review on the car and we'll see if we can find some sort of live racing setup for it as well. I will say this car is very good in the showdowns right now and we'll tell you more about it in just a minute but let's get into the stage six six maxed out shift pattern and tune and then we'll be back for the stage five in just a minute all right so on this car if it's a hundred percent maxed out the final drive comes all the way over to the right 2.24 on the transmission slider tire pressure all right 53 and 47 and 26 psi so if the car is 100 percent maxed out with all the fusions and all the stage six parts that's how you're going to tune it and let's go show you how to drive it first off we got a 10.555 on the dyno guys 10.555 all right so we're going to let go of the gas right about number one to launch all right instantly shift in the second gear right about 3000 rpms we're going to shift into third and hit our nitrous and all perfect shifts after that that's how we want to drive this guy all right a little bit weird but very cool car three two one go second third nitrous and now all perfects guys perfect 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 and that's all she wrote let's see what time we ran and big thank you to Nitro for CSR for letting me use your account. That way I can make videos about cars that I don't have upgraded on my account, which is really cool. There we got a 10.362, guys. 10.362. That's a pretty good time, I would say. So far, the fastest time I've seen on this car is about a 10.32 something. So I was just shy of the fastest time I've seen on it. But I got pretty close, guys. All right. It beat Dino by a really nice amount. So far, I'm going to say this is a cool car. It's going to be great for the showdowns. It's going to be good for pretty much everything, I think. So let's go ahead and check this thing out on stage five. We'll show you the stage five tune and shift pattern now. So let's go do that. On stage five, with all the fusion parts, there are no stage six parts installed. And surprisingly, the tune stayed the same. We only lost a few Evo points. We're still at 1,300 Evo. So basically tune all the way to the right, final drive still at 2.24, tire pressures at 26 PSI. All right, so let's go ahead and do the shift pattern. I'll show you how to drive this thing on stage five. Here we go, here we go. All right, so now you can drive it the exact same way if you want, but I think I found one that's just a teeny tiny bit faster, okay, on stage five. But the stage six shift pattern works really good on stage five as well, but this is how I'm going to drive it on stage five just to get a little bit more out of it. Try both and see what happens. But same thing, let go of the gas right at number one to launch. Instantly shift into second. All all shifts, all perfect shifts after that. All right, nitrous on third. Only difference is we're not doing that extra little early shift at 3,000 RPMs. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go, second. Perfect and nitrous, guys. Perfect and nitrous. Boom, bam. So I I didn't quite get a perfect shift on that one. So it's probably going to slow us down just a little bit. All right. That might slow us down just a little bit. But I should get an 11.9 something. All right. I should get an 11.9 something. 11.985. And the dyno time for stage five is a 12.187. So again, this is a great dyno beating car great dyno beating car should be very good for certain types of live racing if you don't remind if you don't mind resetting the car all right now we're gonna find we'll go, we'll go do a real, little review on this and see if we can find a good live racing setup that's even better all right so we're gonna do a nice little review on this car and then i'm gonna show you the awesome live racing setup i found that seems like it's just gonna eat everybody alive and make so the car doesn't get pushed into the faster and faster lobby so that way you never have to reset this thing if it works properly all right 
Um, right now, we've got 1870 on the live racing tune with 600 on the Evo. So this is going to be a live racing monster. All right, so first off, everybody wants to know, will this car beat Tempest 3 Tier 4? Well, unfortunately, this, this lacks on the acceleration, all right? It can't do the 0 to 60 time. You got to be able to do 0 to 60 in like 1.3 something. The best I can get is like 1.9. So unless you can figure out a better tune for this thing, which I can't, I don't think it's going to be able to do it, all right? It can easily beat the boss. It can easily beat the speed trap, but the 0 to 60 sprint race, I don't think this car is going to do it, unfortunately. So it's missing one of the things um, to get through Tempest 3 without switching cars, okay? So it's going to struggle on the acceleration. Now, it is a dyno beater. On a standard tune, this thing beats dyno. This car is going to be pretty much awesome for everything, Um and it's, it'll even do great at live racing if you don't mind resetting the car constantly. That's why I'm going to show you the low performance point live racing tune in, just, tune in just a minute here. Currently, I believe this is about the 55th or 54th fastest tier 4 car in the game. Something along the lines of that. So it's not one of the fastest cars. But speed's not everything. This car is going to be great at everything except for acceleration. All right. So this is one of those cars where if you get it and you need a good tier 4 car, it's definitely worth upgrading. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and show you my live racing setup. Alright, so we've got engine on stock. We've refit the engine back to stock. we got the turbo on stock. we got the intake on stock. Get your nitrous up to stage 5. You can put the body on stage 5 or stage 6. Tires and transmission, preferably both on stage six, but if you don't have them on stage six, you can put them on stage five. All right, so the tunable parts in the body are upgraded. Everything else is still on stock. And if you'll notice, that gives us 605 performance points and 1870 on the Evo. So that means we've got three times as much Evo as we do performance points. And generally, that's when these cars with the low performance point high Evo tunes really start to shine in live racing. All right. Like I said, though, I do have a few of these on stage six. If you don't have the stage six, guys, dump those down to stage five. Put the rest of them in the stock, and this guy should just eat people in live racing, all right? So you might need to, if you, if you put them down to stage 5, you might need to tune your transmission just a little bit, all right? Just to get the highest EVO points. But the tires and the nitrous are going to stay the same as it did on the rest of the tune, all right? So we got the nitrous all the way to the right. Final drives around 3.17, and if you don't have the stage 6 parts... That is going to move a little bit, okay? That will move just a little bit. Just tune that until these points get as high as possible and leave the tires at uh, 26 PSI. All right, so let's go test this thing on a live racing and see how it does. All right, I have a feeling this is just going to eat people alive. And right now, we just got the new update, so there's probably not a lot of live players out there. The updates really screw out the live lobbies, but we're going to see if we can find somebody to race and see if we can destroy them. This car should dominate. If this car works the way it usually does with this low performance point, high Evo setup, it's going to dominate and destroy everything. And you'll never have to reset the car back because it's not going to beat Dino. So we got a dyno time of 12.2247, and we what we want to do is run the car just a tiny, tiny bit slower, like a 12.247, 12.250. We don't want to go faster than the dyno time, all right? So we, if, we, if we notice we're going to win, we want to slow down before we cross the finish line just to make sure we don't beat the dyno. All right, so let's go live race it and see what happens. All right, we found a real player, guys. We found a real player, so we're going to go ahead and race this guy. He wants to bet 65000 We're going to go ahead and do it. We're going to go ahead and do it. The crazy thing is, I have no idea if this car is good at live racing or not, but we got a big old bet going on. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one, go. Second. Third night. Fourth. Fifth. And sixth. I'm gonna slow down right before we cross the finish line just to make sure we don't we don't beat the dino time. 
All right, there we ran at 12, 292. We wrecked that guy, right? We even slowed down. So yeah, this is gonna be a killer live racing setup for this car. If you can set it up similar to this, it should beat everybody, no problem. So bottom line, this car is gonna be great at everything. All right, except for the acceleration. It's not gonna be good at zero to 60 and zero to 100 races. It's gonna be good at live, especially if you use the low performance point high Evo setup. Um, it's not the fastest tier four car, all right, but it's just an all around awesome car. So if you got this one, definitely upgrade it, all right? I think that pretty much wraps this one up. Again, thank you to Nitro Free CSR for letting me use your account. That way I can make videos like this for you guys on cars that I don't have upgraded on my account. Make sure you check out my Discord server, guys. Link in the video's description if you want to join the Discord. Any paid members on my YouTube channel, you guys will get the access to get into the VIP room if you become a t on my Discord if you became, become a paid member on my YouTube. Uh, Monday and Tuesdays, I'm in those the VIP voice chat a lot where paid members can come in and chat with me which is really cool don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, yeah hit that little bell set those notifications all that way you don't miss any good uploads and we will catch you next time guys thanks for watching lightning out you guys are awesome